Once again, Rainbow Motor Oil and the Rainbow family of automotive products is pleased to present the story of Bob, a young artist. My play, The Flaming Heart, has been postponed at the Arts Center, and the director, a very controlling, a very manipulative person named Hubbard Bellow, has told me on the phone that he'd like me to change some parts of it. He said, your play, Bob, is sort of uneven, 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 as if smoothness is everything. And if I evened it out, he'd probably say it was too flat. He just can't please these people. The Story of Bob, starring Carson Budweiler as Bob, and written by Sarah Bellum. Well, you didn't finish your tapioca pudding there, Bob. Is something wrong? Didn't you want tapioca? I made butterscotch, too. Oh, I'm just, I'm not that hungry, Bernice. I oh, guess. and I made orange jello. I'm just, I'm absolutely stuffed. I had two helpings of the hula meatloaf. And well, there's ice cream. Yeah, boy, that hula meatloaf really hit the spot, Bernice. Nothing like pineapple, I'll tell you that. Well, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> well, what's wrong, Pops? I'm just taking out my upper plate. Oh. oh. Got some meatloaf stuck under it. Sir. Would you mind doing that someplace well, else? Well, it takes a minute to cool your jets. Oh. That's so gross. I'm, I may not be here for supper tonight, Bernice. Oh, well, what's up? Oh, I just, I may go off by myself and just brood for a while. I think. Oh. Bear. <laughs> it was just a caraway seed. <laughs> Boy, well, that just about drove me out of my gourd, dumb seed. Well, now, you know, I heard music coming from your studio this morning, Bob. Sounds like you're back to work on that motet, huh? I did uh, rewrite the words to the motet a little bit. It's, it's no longer a hymn to creation. It's... It's more like a lament for lost youth now, I guess. Well, it sounded real nice. I call it Orpheus and Fess Parker in the underworld. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds nice. Are you going to send it somewhere for someone to perform? Oh, I, I suppose, eventually, yes. Oh, well, sing some of it for me. Well, I'd like to hear it. No, Come on. no. Go on, go on. No, I, I, I just don't. Oh. I can't. Well, sure, sure, sing it. What's the matter? Are you ashamed hmm? of it or something? Well, I'm just not in the mood for your abuse right now, if oh, you want to know. Oh, my, aren't we sensitive? Can't take a little constructive criticism, well, didn't, huh? didn't no. seem constructive to me. My advice to you is demolition. <laughs> After that, you can start on construction. What do you think of that? Well, now, you used to sing some of your songs for us, Bob. I remember. Don't you, Pop? Oh, sure do. I remember that song called Mr. Handsome? What? It was called The History of Randomness, oh, whatever. if you must know. I remember it. Well, now, what, which one was that? Well, it was the one that sounded like a cat going into the meat grinder. It no. did not. It was the dumbest gall dang thing I ever it, heard in my it, life. It wasn't even finished. You bet it wasn't. I showed, I showed you an unfinished work. That poem should have never been started. Okay, just forget it. Boy, it was dumb. I heard you the first time, all well, right? Well, it sounds right. interesting to me. Now, is this a page of it here? Yes, th th this is part of my motet, but, I, but, but oh, I'd rather you wouldn't... All right, let's see. Uh, Kim Basinger's dog is drunk, fledgling emerald light streaming crystalline over sacred stone boats laden with luminous laundry and the cactus tracks and geese going and going and great elephants. Oh, Fess Parker, your raccoon plumage dangling like the placenta of an old pair of pants. Well... It's kind of a new style for me. It's, uh -huh. uh, it's called unconscious writing. I, I just, I come to the page in a mood of, of passive calm, and, and I just put down on the page whatever wants to go well, now onto how, the page. Well, so how do you know, then? I don't. You see, that's the whole point. I, I'm not a controlling writer. It, 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 it knows the things that want to be in the motet, they know, and they, and they find their way to the page through me. Huh. If it's unconscious writing, maybe it'd help if somebody hit you over the head with a two-by-four. What do you think of that? <laughs> now, I like that part about the raccoon plumage and the placenta of an old pair of pants. It's, it's powerful, isn't it? Well, it's something, all right. Yeah, yes. all I can say is if that's poetry, then I'm Rhonda Fleming. Oh, Pops, remember, today's the day your seniors group goes to tour the creamery. Oh, right. And, Bob, you had a message from a Mrs. Timmy that her daughter is coming over today to pick up the collage she ordered. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll just go back in my studio and pick one out for her.
Gosh, I hardly have room to move around in here. No wonder I can't get anything done. I've got to get this place cleared up so I can do some work. Oh, who am I trying to kid? Pops is right. This stuff is junk. What a load of garbage this is. What did I do this for? What was I thinking about? Pops is right. I wasted my life. Worked for years on this junk, and what do I have to show for it? I ought to burn it. I'm going to burn it. One less motet to clutter up the world. Save some audience the trouble of having to sit for 15 minutes and listening to a bunch of squeaks and squawks by one more self-indulgent composer. Daddy, I don't know. No, I'm okay. I'm just smoking a cigar in here. I'll be right out. Uh-uh. Just painting all these squiggles and blobs. What did I think that was? Oh, what got into me? And this sculpture made from an old car bumper and a picket fence and a goalie's mask and a, a tutu with starch in it. Why, why did I waste my time doing this? Just let me alone. I'm enjoying a smoke. I'm relaxing, okay? God, I want to do something good. Don't you think you owe me this, God, after all these years? It's all I ever wanted to do was to make art. Just let me do one good thing, would you? So if I can't, I wish you'd tell me what else I'm supposed to do, okay? Please, God. Bob, you want to come wash dishes? God, you want me to be a dishwasher or an artist? The story of Bob, a young artist, was brought to you by Rainbow Motor Oil and the Rainbow family of automotive products.